Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. And I hope you joined me a couple of days ago when Angie DeMuro and I talked about this new book, this new children's book that we've launched together. Um, I'm so excited about it. It's called Love, a story about who you truly are. And as promised the other day, I said I would read out the whole book to you. So I'm here today to do that with you. And thank you so much for joining me. Um, so I wanted to just show you the cover again because I just love the cover. Um, and then in the first page, uh, it's this cute little drawing of a heart saying, this book belongs to. And of course, just under the heart, it says, you are love. Love, a story about who you truly are by Anita Murjani and Angie DeMuro. God, I just love Angie. She's just done such a great job on this book. And this is the first page. It's just the cutest, isn't it? We've given it out to so many people and everybody's just loved it. Um, hi, my name is Anita. I love you. I really do. Do you know why? Because you are me and I am you. We're all the same. Our bodies may look different on the outside, but our outsides are not who we truly are. We're really energy, and that energy is love. <clears throat> Love is the energy that connects us all to each other. I just can't help but interjecting here to say that I just love the way that when Angie draws all the different people to show who we are and connecting with each other, of how different everybody is. She's drawn people in spacesuits, people in wheelchairs, people with frizzy hair, straight hair, blue people, green people. It's, it's, just, it's just amazing. It's just what the world needs now. Love is not something that you can see or hear. It's something that you can feel. When your mom or dad gives you a big hug and you hug back with all of your might, that is the feeling of love being shared. And again, just my words, I'm just interjecting here that she's done such a great job of describing the ineffable because love is something that's so hard to describe to children. It's so hard to explain to them what love is, which is why I love this book because it's made that so easy now. But before we can share love with others, <clears throat> excuse me, but before we can share love with others, we must give it to ourselves first. And what I think is so cute is that little Cosmo is saying, how do you do that? <laughs> Be your own best friend. Love yourself just as you are. And here's our friend, the elephant with the purple love t-shirt who represents Wayne. Even when you're sick or get a low grade in school or make a bad choice, just love yourself through it. Self-soothe. And send, send love to yourself. And this is just really cute because you've got the elephant meditating saying, I am smart, I am perfect, just the way I am. And then you've got Cosmo, and you've got little me, uh, all of us just meditating and sending love to ourselves and giving us 
positive affirmations to ourselves, just like Louise Hay used to do. Because when you love yourself, you realize that you are magnificent and that you can do anything that comes your way. Because after all, you are magnificent. There. Isn't that just darling? When you love yourself, it's so easy to share that love with others. Smile at someone and watch them smile back at you. Share your toy with them. Go over to someone sitting all alone and say, let's be friends. You're connecting your energy with theirs. You're sharing love. Yeah, all the little characters are just so endearing. Love is super portable. You can take it with you wherever you go and share it with everyone you meet. Spread love around. And here Angie's drawn a backpack filled with little hearts. And the elephant puts it on his back and allows the hearts to spill out wherever he travels to. You can add a bit of love to all that you do brushing your teeth, while eating your lunch, cooking dinner, even while cleaning your room. Think loving thoughts while you do each task. This is also great for kids, where, you know, to put it up in their room, to remind them to think loving thoughts. Now listen, there may be times when people will do or say things that'll make you think that love is not around. But guess what? Love can never leave you. It's always with you because you are love. <clears throat> to me, this page is really important because it teaches children who have been mistreated or bullied or going through a rough time that they'll never lose that love, that love is still there, even though they're not feeling it at that time. And I find that's particularly, particularly important for kids who feel different from other kids or who've had something happen to them at school and even adults. That is why there's nothing you can say or do to make yourself unlovable ever. All you have to do is to be as you as you can be and love yourself for all that you are. See, this is such a joyful picture. It's just so full of joy with Cosmo with the hula hoop. And then this is the best part of the book. The final page is the love yourself pledge where you make a pledge to yourself. I, and you put your own name there. So I, Anita Murjani, pledge to always love myself no matter what through good times and not so good times. I pledge to always be my own best friend. I pledge to stand up for myself and to always be kind to myself. I pledge to never criticize myself. That one is so important. I pledge to say nice things to and about myself. I pledge to always be as me as I can be. I pledge to never dim my light for anyone, ever. I love myself forever. This is such a beautiful page and it's here for you to cut out. And in fact, we're also posting this page on my Facebook so that you can download it and you can pin it up on your wardrobe or on your mirror. Um, I just can't say enough wonderful things about what Angie has done with my words to bring this about. And, um, and I said this before in the other video, but I'm going to say this again. If I knew this as a child, if I knew this as a youngster, if this is the kind of thing that was taught to me, I never would have got cancer. So thank you so much for tuning in. 
Thank you. I love you all. And I look forward to seeing you all again really, really soon. And I'd love to hear your feedback. If you get a chance to read the book or if you get a chance to share it with youngsters, I'd love, love, love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much. Love you and see you all soon. Bye.